China is a large aquatic product country and the world's largest seafood consumer market. However, due to the huge consumption potential and the gradually expanding consumption share, the amount of marine fish cultured and caught in China is still far from enough. It is estimated that by 2030, China's marine fish consumption gap will reach 6 to 18 million tons. Due to overfishing in the early years and increasingly stringent fishery protection policies in recent years, the output of marine fishing has been declining year by year. Therefore, mariculture is currently the best solution. However, under the background of protecting the ecological environment and remediating farming pollution, the development space for offshore farming is shrinking. Seas far away from the mainland have excellent water quality, suitable temperature, and are far away from terrestrial pests and diseases. Therefore, deep-sea aquaculture has become a new direction for the development of mariculture. Recently, the world's first 100,000-ton smart fishery large-scale breeding ship Guixin 1 was delivered and put into operation, marking China's solid steps in promoting the modernization of deep-sea farming equipment. This ship not only solves the shortage of sea fish resources in China, especially famous sea fish, but also provides more stable employment opportunities for Chinese distant water fishermen. How does it work? How did the Chinese use high-tech fish farming on board? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. This year, China launched one of the world's largest, most functional, practical and reliable fishing vessels, Guixin 1 farming vessel, which is also the world's first 100,000-ton movable deep and distant sea large-scale farming vessel. From the outside, Guixin 1 looks like a standard 100,000-ton container ship, but it is a fishing boat. The ship has a total length of about 249 meters, a load capacity of about 100,000 tons, and a total of 15 breeding cabins with a capacity of 80,000 square meters. It can breed at least 3,700 tons of sea fish every year. The annual output is comparable to China's largest artificial lake, Xiandao Lake. The ship is equipped with intelligent management system, circulating water treatment, automatic bait feeding, water quality monitoring, domestic and aquaculture sewage treatment, new energy power supply system, etc., which can adjust the temperature and salinity of the water body with a capacity of 5,600 cubic meters in the cabin in real time. Therefore, it is also called Mobile Sea Ranch. The ship has been cruising in the deep sea for a long time, which is suitable for breeding, avoiding natural disasters such as typhoons and red tides, and can also fully follow the bait of the rising ocean current to facilitate the growth of fish. Compared with a container ship moving forward at a constant speed, as a breeding worker ship, it needs to stop and go, or even drift with the current. When a typhoon comes, it is necessary to set sail quickly to avoid bad sea conditions. When receiving the severe sea condition forecast, the breeding labor ship can rely on its self-propelled ability to evacuate from the dangerous area in advance to achieve the purpose of wind and typhoon avoidance. The electric propulsion system is equipped with multiple diesel generator sets for power generation, and the number of generator sets to be put into operation can be selected according to the power load, so that the operating units can always operate in a high-efficiency working area, which also helps to achieve maximum fuel economy and improve battery life. Another advantage brought by the electric propulsion system is to give the fish a comfortable living environment. The electric system can keep the fuel consumption rate and the emission of carbon oxides and nitrogen oxides at the lowest level, and less air pollution is also conducive to giving fish fry a better life. A good breeding environment can reduce the occurrence of breeding diseases, and through scattered and closed layouts, better vibration isolation devices, adding sound insulation covers and other measures to reduce vibration and noise, and create a quiet and low vibration environment for breeding. After sea trials, the maximum underwater noise in the aquaculture cabin of Guixin 1 was 136 decibels and 140 decibels under sailing conditions and aquaculture conditions, even surpassing the level of quiet scientific research ships. For a farming boat, the key factors to raise fish well are good water quality, suitable water temperature and away from pests and diseases. And good water quality requires timely water exchange and drainage. Washin 1 uses the overflow method for water exchange to achieve high-density running water aquaculture. 
That is, the water intake pump draws deep sea and far sea water from the water intake well, and an overflow pipe is installed at the bilge of the fish farming tank, which is connected to the design draft and drained from the side of the breeding platform to realize water flow exchange. This method can not only input dissolved oxygen into the fishing cabin and remove fish excrement so as to maintain good water quality in the pool, but also allow the fish to grow in an environment close to the stream for a lifetime, making the fish meat more compact. On the other hand, Guashin 1 not only fills the pond, but also use sensors to automatically monitor and control the flow, dissolved oxygen, water temperature, acidity and alkalinity, organic and inorganic content of the breeding pool to achieve the best breeding conditions. In the breeding process, there will inevitably be dead fish in the pool, and the dead fish in the cabin will greatly affect the breeding water quality and the ecological health of the fish in the cabin if not treated in time, so it needs to be treated in time. For this reason, Guashin 1 adopts the method of inlet water pushing flow to solve this problem, that is, to create a certain vortex in the large cabin, including residual bait, dead fish and other dirt gathered in the center of the bottom of the cabin, and then focus on the pump discharge. In addition to fish farming, Guashin 1 can also provide services such as processing and refrigeration for fish catches, in order to meet the processing needs of the farming platform, the processing workshop is arranged on the main deck. The processing area is set above the fish tank, and the refrigerated fish tank is arranged centrally. One crane is installed near each processing area, and each crane can lift 15 tons of catches at a time, and provide catch transfer services for six fishing boats at the same time. Through the processing workshop on board, Guashin 1 can provide value-added services for the seafood it gets at any time. If a deep-sea farming vessel like Guashin 1 is positioned as a large fishery carrier that can be farmed and also has service supply functions, then around the operation of this fishery carrier, it is also necessary to cooperate with the corresponding logistics supply fleet and fishing operation fleet to form a multifunctional large fishery carrier fleet. To this end, China intends to build a set of fishery carrier fleet model, from comprehensive supply ships to the platform to transfer fuel, fresh water, food and other materials, the farming platform and then barge to the fishing operation fishing supplies, in order to extend the self-sustainability and endurance of operating fishing vessels, save the time and fuel costs of fishing vessels between land and sea. In addition to Guashin 1, Guashin 2 and Guashin 3 are already in the stage of shipyard construction and are scheduled to be delivered in 2023, while the larger 300,000-ton Guashin 4 is scheduled to begin construction in 2023. In short, in the next 10 years, China will continue to jointly invest in the construction of 30 to 50 aquaculture work vessels, forming a deep-sea aquaculture fleet with a total tonnage exceeding the scale of 5 million tons, an annual output of more than 300,000 tons of marine fish, and a deep-sea aquaculture industrial chain with an output value exceeding 15 billion yuan. Okay, that's all for today. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.